Hi Capricorn, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Cappy, it's for you. Remember they are general readings. Use your own discernment before we start. As always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you have the Hermit card. Okay so this week is likely to be a slower week and it's a week where you are somewhat pulling away from the world the withdrawal that you are sort of putting in place is because you're going into your cocoon. This usually precedes some kind of knowledge or information base. Uh, I do wonder if at this time as well, you start to, um, you know, certainly over the course of the week, you start to really go into a very reflective, potentially even very meditative sort of space. And this is where you're really trying to understand or trying to do the work that's required for your own inner high priestess or your intuition to speak. So if you've been with me long enough, you know, I always say with the hermit card, when the hermit shows up, the high priestess has a message for you, right? So when the hermit shows up, your life is a little bit too chaotic at the moment and it needs to be quietened so you need to maybe come back to a routine to slow things down a little bit because your intuition has messages for you that you're not able to hear at this moment in time now in all of these different areas of life there might be a somewhat uh, lonely feel for a lot of you this might actually be the way that you want it at this moment in time for your actions and options you've got the page of wands so this shows up for you in the position of like of your actions and options this is what you do so you're getting very proactive about listening to the internal messages that are coming through this is about following your own inner compass it's about using the information that comes into you uh, to best effect right and truth be told we can have all the wisdom in the world spouted at us until we actually do something to apply that wisdom it doesn't really become anything but uh, you know like a bumper sticker or a meme effectively right but like and that's the truth of the matter when you see all of these amazing memes and you read something and you think oh wow that's amazing if you apply that stuff your life your life changes now for uh, the in terms of the options that are available to you I wouldn't be surprised if this week you do get a message of some sort and when you get it, it could be really profound and it could have like, a, it could make like a real difference to your life at this moment in time. And it might come from a really unlikely source. You might like hear this and think like, hang on a sec, look, that feels oddly specific to me. Do you know what I mean? And then like you ask the person or like, you're like, oh, what did you say? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm like, no. <laughs> You know, so it could be like a, a bit of a mystical moment. And then you have the, the king of wands as your communications and conversations. So this week, you are being invited to share your story. You're being invited to talk about the difficult or the hard road that you have walked to get to where you are at this moment in time. And that king of wands, it really is about visibility. So when it comes to your work, your profession, your career, you've got to show up this week. Yes, maybe there is a decidedly lonely feeling. Maybe you feel like you're fighting a battle that feels somewhat sort of, um, what's the word? Maybe like you feel a little bit isolated. Maybe you feel like you're the only person that holds a specific idea or ideal, right? Because we know the Capricorn work ethic. Um, but really and truthfully, this feels like, you know, you're being invited to really make yourself visible, to show like, you know, who, why you is that bitch, okay? Now, for those of you that are um, studying or in some form of academia, this, even for those of you that are just starting your course, you want to start this from the standpoint that you've already worked hard to get here, 
right the knowledge base the you know the wisdom that you've gained the lessons that you've learned you need to hold all of that in mind as you begin this journey whether you're starting your first year whether you're seeing out your third year this is about really claiming the hard work and effort that it's taken to get you to where you are at this moment in time for those of you that are employed by somebody else this might be a decidedly very isolated or very lonely week and the reason for this is you're being given an opportunity to say this is why you hired me this is why you chose me to do this job this is why i should be getting uh, you know the big bucks this is why i should get a promotion like this week you show up in the most capricorn way that you can and i promise you rewards will follow when it comes to but you you got to be the capricorn that you are as well right don't take no shit when it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, um, one way that this potentially might show up for you is that you realise that the reason that your business is chugging along is because your visibility is crap. And I, I mean that, in a, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful or whatever, but this is the message, right? you've got the skills, you've got the knowledge, you know that your products and your services absolutely kill it. They're probably some of the best on the market, given the work ethic that you have. And yet, if nobody's seeing you, you ain't making no sales, honey. Okay, so you need to get on that and you need to get on it quick. This visibility thing, you need to snap out of it, Capricorn, okay? When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is kind of like a survey the land. And with the Hermit card here, I think this really asks you what is the next mountain top? Where do I go from here, right? Where Where is, you know, now that I'm retired or if I'm not working and I'm looking for work, what does the next job, what does the next work uh project what does it actually look like to me and more importantly is it you know am i having fun right and this is for all of you capricorns as well the king of wands so regardless of being in control being in charge being hard working and all the rest of it he's a fun guy the king of wands is fun enjoyable you know laugh a minute is a little bit of a big kid really for your love and relations, you've got the Nine of Cups. Absolutely love this for you, right? So if you are partnered, married, or in a long-term commitment, whatever issues, challenges, or problems that you've had in your relationship, they can now start to mend. The Nine of Cups, obviously the number nine. The Hermit card is number nine, so two nines represents receipts. Now, what does that mean? It means in a relationship setting, just because things are mending now, if you haven't addressed the underlying problem or issue, and I promise you this, right? Make sure you, in the days ahead, make sure you check out all of the new content that I'm bringing out and pay attention specifically to the 2025 overview because there's gonna be really important information in that video. And I gotta tell you, right? For all the people, and it's come up for a couple of signs this week, for all the people that are, oh, everything's fine again. Um, for all the people that are sweeping stuff under the carpet, come December of 2024, right through to April of 2025, you're gonna struggle, right? Do not brush it under the carpet. That nine of cups, just because things are mending, is that because you've forgotten it or you're ignoring it? The fact that you've got two nines which represents receipts means look over the past patterns. Is this how it goes? Everything gets better for a while because you ignore it and it is what it is and then it flares up again at a later date. Because I'm telling you now, for those, and I mean this for everybody, right? But especially for, for your sign, because this is who I'm reading for, sweeping stuff under the carpet right now ain't gonna cut it. And if you don't wanna run into the sticky stuff later on, deal with it now, all right? When it comes to those of you that are single and looking, this is you really healing that singledom, but again, the two nines shows up and it's about the receipts. What about you in a relationship needs to be adjusted or fixed? What about your relationship style needs to be thought more clearly about, right? This is what you're really being invited to look at this week, because there are chances for you to meet someone once this week is done. 
Now, before we get into it uh, with your money and materials, I do want to remind you memberships are up and at them. You can get yours on the link in the description box below. This is the last week where these uh, weekly tower reads will be for free. After this, you will need to have a membership to access them. There's going to be memberships will be these. Uh, this $8.99 a month. You're going to get all of the weeklies every week. On top of that, you will get other videos and other goodies that nobody else will be getting. So if you want to keep getting these, you know what to do. There will be other content on the channel uh, to keep everybody else happy, but it won't be this kind of format. All right. And then finally, for your money and materials, you've got the Six of Cups. This is you returning to the good old days where the money was flowing. All right. Love this for you. The Six of Cups is a great card. It's the Lord of Pleasure. You've got this with the um, Hermit card. This is you spending money on something that is decidedly quite self-centered. And I really think that this is a good thing. Like if there's something that you particularly like to eat, buy it and don't share it. If there's a particular bottle of wine or a particular bottle of alcohol that you like to, to buy, this is your week to buy it. Whatever those small pleasures are, or maybe even big pleasures that really you that you really enjoy coupled with that hermit card this is you doing something pleasurable with your own money that makes you feel good right when it comes to your physical health and vitality this is your reproductive system um maybe a good week to get a scan maybe uh, you know or uh, maybe even a good week to get a sexual health test it's not to say that there's anything scary there but it's coming up for a reason so this might be you know a good reason to to get a, a check-in of some sort and then finally when it comes to your home and environment the six of cups it really is about a happy home right this is a really great lovely week for you guys and it's funny because it's all earth and uh, it's all fire and water so interesting stuff with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week take care and i'll see you soon